Alright, so now that we have the cube, it's time to figure out what side is on the top and what side is on the bottom. Now all the algorithms I'm going to give you are with the fault line being to your left. So you don't want to be solving it like this because you won't be able to do any of the algorithms I give you. So the top side is the one that corresponds up here with this being on the left. How do you figure that out? Well, let's pick a corner piece, like this green one here. See, if I have it lined up to the red, then the one on the opposite side here should be yellow, but it's not. So it's going to be on the bottom layer. Just to show you the other one, we'll take this white piece, line it up with orange. I know this is my top because it, picks, it lines up with the equator, just like that. So I want to solve for white on top. Now, if any moment you realize that you just solved for the wrong side and you need to totally flip your cube upside down, there is an algorithm for it, and I'll give it to you right now. This one is B minus R T6 B6 R B plus. And I'm just going to undo that now. Okay, so now that I don't need to solve for white on the top, I need to get all four corner pieces first as white here. So I have three already. I just need to get this fourth one. And there is an algorithm to move at corner piece from the bottom here to the top. And to do that, you want to put it underneath where it needs to be. So I have my white one. It's underneath where it's going to be. And once you have that, face your cube. And it's time to do this algorithm. T plus R B minus 3 R B minus 3 R B6 R T minus. And voila, you got all four corners. And likewise, because all four corners up here are white, your other side has to all be green. Mine is white opposite green. Your cube may be different. So you have to figure out which is your top and bottom, obviously, from, from before. So now that we got our corners all on the right side, it's time to fix them so that they all line up. And what I mean by that, you want these two corners right here around the whole way to be the same colors. So if you have a uh, matching color already, like this one, these two reds here, you want to keep it to the left of your front side. So I'm going to use this as my front side because it's got the fault line here. I'm going to keep that to my left, and I'm going to tell you a the top um, corner piece fixing algorithm. And how this one goes is T plus R B minus 3 R B plus 3 R B minus 3 R B minus 3 R B6 R. And take a look at that. You got oranges, blues, reds, and yellows. Now, once you have this, it's time to do the same on the bottom side. Now, the bottom side is a little bit different, and when you do this, you're going to mess up your top side temporarily, but it will come back, I promise, if you do it right. So, if you have um, a pair already on the bottom, uh, keep it in the back of your front side. So, I'm going to put, if this is my front side, I'm going to keep it back here. If you don't, that's okay. It doesn't matter. This is just so um, if you have a pair, it works. Now, the algorithm for this one is pretty similar. It's just kind of flipped around. To do this one, it is B minus R T plus 3 R T minus 3 R T plus 3 R T plus 3 R T6 R, B plus, and don't lose this front side here because you got to make sure you perform this algorithm again on the correct side. What you do need to do, however, is in the bottom layer, you should have one pair correct somewhere. Usually it comes to the front, though. If you don't have an if you didn't have an edge pair before or already, then you got to look for it because it's probably going to be around here somewhere. But if you do have it, shift it to your left side, just like that, right over there. And once you have that, perform the same algorithm again. So B minus R T plus 3 R T minus 3 R T plus 3 R T plus 3 
R, T6, R, B+. Plus. You can line up all of your corners because now they are all solved.